Hi, this is Theo from Pugablocks.com. Today I'm going to talk about color contamination in watercolor pen boxes. You know, sometimes when you are painting some of the colors from one pen may just flow over to another pen, or when you are dipping your watercolor brush into the pen, some of the paint from the brush flows into the pen and contaminates the color there. So today I'm going to talk about that. The idea for today's video actually came from Tommy Ulrich who asked me this question in the comment section. So the question is this. So I notice you don't take super duper care to keep your pens uncontaminated from other colors. Won't, uh, won't the other colors like seep into the pen and ruin the main color that's in there? I always get so paranoid mixing colors because I think I'm gonna ruin the pre-mixed pens. So um, that's quite an interesting question. Let me show you my pens first. I have two pen sets here with me today. This is the Van Gogh set of watercolors. These are actually in those uh, cake forms. They are hardened watercolor pens. Now this set here with Mission Gold watercolors, these are actually squeezed from the tube into the pens. So they are different in that sense. Let's take a little closer look at the Van Gogh set. Generally speaking, these pen sets that are in cake form are slightly more difficult to contaminate compared to those that are squeezed from the tube because the pens here, these hardened cakes, they are slightly more difficult to dissolve. That's why they are more difficult to contaminate. However, um, you can still contaminate them if you uh, use a lot of colors from another color to mix in them. So you see here this color here, this yellow color, there is some contamination and also this color here, I'm not sure what color this is. This is a cool red, but um, there is some contamination as well. For the, all the other colors, they are relatively clean. Now let's take a look at my set of Mission Go watercolors. Now this particular set has more contamination. You see here, when I was filling this yellow here, um, I did not wait for it to dry properly and then I put it into my bag and the yellow paint actually just flowed down. So now it's contaminated with orange and it's contaminated with this, um, this warm red color here. You can see some of the yellow here. However, even though um, it's contaminated, these two colors um, when I'm painting, when I'm using them, it's not going to present a problem because these two colors, they are very strong by themselves. So if I were to just take a watercolor brush now, I would just uh, put some water and pick up the pigment. I will still see the strong orange show through. I will still see the strong red color show through. I will not see any traces of yellow. So these two colors are very strong. And this color here you see, this is a cool red. I like to mix phthalo green with cool red. So sometimes I would just dip the phthalo green, this color here, and then dip it down to this uh, pen here. So you see this dark part, this dark part is actually phthalo green. Uh, again, this is not really a problem for me because this color is also very intense. In fact, let me show it to you right now. All right, let me wash my watercolor brush and drop some drops of water into this color. So this is how I usually wet my pens. Now, I'm going to pick up the color now. I'm going to pick up the color at the contaminated area and show it to you. So this is the contaminated color. You see that this is uh, quite dark. And after using it for a while, the uh, real color comes out. This is the real color. So let me just um, create this swatch here. Sometimes I may need to wash my brush again, or sometimes I just cannot be bothered. I will just use the color straight from the pen like this. And because the color itself is very strong, even with a bit of contamination, it doesn't really matter because um, sometimes you don't want to use the colors so clean. You don't want the clean color. You want it to have some contamination so that it doesn't appear too bright, so that the color doesn't appear too bright. So let me wash my brush again and let me show you the actual color from this uh, pen. So this area is, looks quite clean to me already. So this is the actual color. 
this is very bright as you can see this is very very bright without any contamination so after one swatch two swatch and cleaning the brush the third swatch the color becomes clean again is it a problem when I'm painting well most of the time I will not be using this color straight from the pan itself so um, I'll be using colors like this which is a bit muted not as bright as this this is a bit too um, tension grabbing because it's too bright so some contamination in this uh, color is all right I'm, I'm fine with it let me show you the orange color and the red color that is that are contaminated with the yellow earlier on so this part here you see that it's contaminated with yellow so after I scrub it a bit with the brush the colors that I can get this is very close to the original color so even with yellow contaminating orange it's 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 fine it's really fine how about yellow contaminating with red well let's see this is also the actual red color all right there is some contamination you can see here it's a bit darker at certain areas let me wash my brush get some clean water because there is some contamination here again for me it doesn't matter because I usually don't use the colors straight from the pan onto the paper I will mix it a bit so uh, that's perfectly fine for me the only color that I will pay attention to is the yellow color because yellow is the color that is easiest to contaminate even with a speck of blue in yellow it turns green immediately and if you see see what I have here you can see some of the green colors there so yellow is very tricky because the color itself is very light if you add strong colors like red into yellow or if you add blue into yellow it will turn into a secondary color straight away and it's very difficult to get a bright yellow because of contamination so I think this has some uh, green in it so there is some green in it but it's not too obvious in front of the camera so yellow is the only color that I will pay a lot of attention to make sure that it's not contaminated especially after you are you have painted you have mixed a lot of other colors you have, maybe you have mixed orange you have mixed greens for your trees your foliages you have mixed some gray tones with burnt sienna french ultramarine and you realize that hey in my sketch there is this signboard that is supposed to be yellow and you have to make sure that you wash your brush first before you go dab it in if not um, if not the yellow will be contaminated however let's say if you are painting you have a sort of a dirty brush to say per se and you say that oh there's this spot that needs a little bit of red and the red is contaminated I will still use the red that is contaminated and just paint over because the red color is very strong by itself but for yellow be very very careful watercolor artists usually paint from lighter colors to darker colors that applies to me as well more specifically I try to use yellow first or mix colors with yellow first or mix it with uh, yellow or use yellow ochre first and then I'll proceed on to either red or blue but I always try to use yellow first because uh, that color is very difficult to keep clean color contamination is almost unavoidable so as much as possible personally for me I try to paint with yellow or any other lighter color first before I switch to um, using other colors and also if you really want to keep your pans clean you can clean them out after every session to make them clean but when you are cleaning your pans um, you are going to waste a bit of paint as well because you need to scrub off some of the uh, contaminated paint from the original color so I'm not sure if that would be worth it worth the effort or worth the cost so yeah I hope I have answered your question today Tommy Ulrich and if uh, you guys have any other questions relating to watercolor pen and ink drawing feel free to post them in the comment section just right below and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel 
do so for more up product reviews, sketching tips, and tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.